time my love's interested in enacting your psychic abilities or maybe you're just curious. If you're looking to learn about and develop your psychic senses, then definitely keep on watching. What's up guys, my name is Savannah. I teach modern hippies how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle through mindfulness and science. Like I said today, we are talking about a psychic ability. We're talking what, why, how, dispelling some myths and talking about why this is so important to hone and develop during the Black Lives Matter movement, the coronavirus, everything that's chaotic going on in the world right now. Because there's so much energetic trash is just floating around waiting to prey on your energy. By learning about your natural psychic abilities, you'll be able to shield from that crap, stop feeling so heavy, pick yourself up, and be part of the movement. Before we dive right in, yes, I am a practicing psychic slash energy healer. I don't really resonate with those words a lot, but if we have to label it, that's what I am. And I do offer sessions, one-on-one -on -one sessions, link down below. Go check it out, consider it. You guys know that I am a scientist, here's my engineering degree, but science can be very limiting. Just because we haven't measured or discovered something scientifically yet doesn't mean that it does not exist, right? We just have been able to prove that the aura exists and that two people's auras can affect each other. We just proved that, but we've known that it's true for thousands and thousands of years. So. As we go through this video, I hope that you can keep an open mind and especially if you're able to reference to your own intuitive experiences. So what does it mean to be psychic? Hollywood would have us believe that it's like this magical, very strong, like almost cartoonish experience, but it really varies from person to person. So we all know that we have our basic five senses, right? But what is beyond that? Are we able to sense things beyond just taste, touch, smell. And I'm gonna get into the different types of psychic senses. Just know that everybody has the ability to hone in and develop their psychic senses. We are naturally born with this as humans. So while you can be psychically gifted, it's not a requirement if you it's something that you want to develop. If you've ever had a gut feeling, a dream, a thought that like then came true or you just knew that someone was bad and you didn't know why, you, your intuition was just yelling at you like, I don't like them and then they turned out to be a really crappy person. This is your psychic set, your psychic self sensing those things. Like, have you ever been able to sense that someone is a very standing close to you, but they're not like breathing on you, they're not making any noise? That's like a sight, they're like infringing on your aura, your, your like energy field. That's like a, like getting into psychic sense territory. And there's a mass spiritual awakening going on on the planet right now. I'm sure you're very aware of that or aware of, at least of all the calamity that is happening because of it. By the way, go check out my third eye awakening video and put it right here. But let's talk about the third eye for a moment. Let's talk about the third eye for a moment. It's also known as the pineal gland. It's in the back of the brain about here. Um, this is a, the area that people really reference to when they talk about the third eye. The third eye is known um, as the sixth chakra or ajna and it is referenced to as the psychic or awareness center. So to have psychic ability to develop it is really just to become more aware. You're able to sense things beyond what is readily available to your eyes, your nose, your ears. So here are the different types of clairs. First you have a clairvoyance, it's psychic seeing. Not even necessarily that you have like these crazy amazing, amazing visions. It could just be you have a dream or you have like a picture in your head. Clair audience. So sometimes you can hear aloud a voice saying things and sometimes it can be in the back of your mind a voice that's not yours coming in then you have claircognizance this is psychic knowing this is like when you just know something and you don't know why or how you know it but it's true this is psychic knowing really quick i'm not going to get into where this information is coming from because it can come from a lot of different sources and there's different theories and stuff like that so that'll be a topic for another video then we have clairsentience this is another word for Empaths. Empaths have the natural gift of clairsentience or psychic feeling. They're able to feel the energetic emotions of other people, uh, plants, um, 
animals even. So that's kind of like a brief overview of the what in terms of psychic ability or psychic senses. And again, psychic ability is just your ability to tap into those senses. You already have them. So let's get into why. Why should you develop psychically? And let me tell you, it's not scary. There's no energy of fear here. This is not an occultic thing. This is not like a witchy thing. Any, every human, like I said, has the ability to hone their psychic senses. So why develop psychically? For a more comprehensive understanding and experience of your reality. And as a human on earth, to interact with the environment and other people and animals and beings in a more in-depth way. And like I said, it is not scary. It's actually very useful. You're able to really help others and help yourself if you are more awakened and sensitive to everything that's going on because everything in our realm is just energy everything in our realm is just energy and therefore everything has a f unique frequency and that's science that's not some hippie woo woo stuff everything like my hand my fitbit this frame right here it all has a unique frequency that it's vibrating at. Everything is, vib all is vibration, everything is energy, and we're just one large system moving around in different ways. So why would you not want to be able to read that better? You know, like there's so much to be taken advantage of in order to help others, help the planet and help ourselves. So yeah, why would you not want that? It's not scary, it's not terribly difficult, so. And if you're watching this video and you're on my channel, you're subscribed to me, you watch me on YouTube, Instagram, you're part of my Facebook group, you probably already are developing psychically. But it is possible that you may not know it yet. You may not recognize it yet. So for example, I never thought that I was clairvoyant. I thought that I just had clairaudience, clairsentience as an empath, clair claircognizance, but I never thought that I was clairvoyant because I didn't get like prophetic dreams. I didn't have I do have crazy dreams like all the time, which is kind of clairvoyant a bit if they can if they're like symbolic. And I have had claircognizant experiences where I predicted the death of someone that I once knew the day before they died, things like that. But in terms of psychic seeing clairvoyance, I never thought that I was clairvoyant until the experience that I had recently where I realized that the geometric light patterns that I see, I'm able to see frequency. It may not be color, it may not be these like stunning visions, but I'm still able to see different frequencies anywhere. So what I'm trying to say through that is there's so many different ways that you can be experiencing your psychic senses. And therefore, because it's not one set way to experience any one of your psychic senses, you may not even know that you have it yet, especially if you're naturally gifted in one of the clairs. I'm gonna link down below a book recommendation. I read this book about five years ago. It's called Psychic Development for Beginners. It's really great at helping you visualize things, which is really great for manifesting. Like psychic senses aside, if you wanna manifest things into your life, being able to clearly visualize and feel them is like the number one way to help manifest something into your life, no matter what it is. Something that I really wanted to touch on as I get into the topic of myths as it pertains to psychic ability, there are a lot of fake psychics out there. What does it mean to be a psychic, right? Like I claim that I'm a psychic, what does that mean? I have practiced these many ways of taking in information that when I interface with someone, I'm able to immediately pull out of them the root cause of what's going on with them especially because I am a natural empath, I have the natural gift of clairsentience, I'm able to feel in my body what they are feeling and just pull it right out. Here's the problem, now let's deal with it. A lot of psychics like to kind of read you, see what's going on and then kind of like deduct what they should be saying or maybe they say like, oh, you're gonna find love, you're gonna find a lot of money to kind of tell you what you wanna hear. A lot of psychics play into something called spiritual materialism where they will feed your ego which people love getting their ego fed right with terms like oh you're a pisces so that means blah 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 or um oh you're a star seed a crystal child so that means that you're this and that and tell you all these things that you want to hear about yourself like positive things and there's actually this psychological uh, phenomena i think it's called the brawn phenomena i don't know i'll put it right here where if someone says something positive about you, you always agree that it's true. And of course we know the good old placebo effect. So there are a lot of different psychological phenomena that some shadier psychics play off of. Use your own intuition if you're picking someone to work with or to help you, to heal you, to read you, to guide you. Use your own psychic ability of clairsentience, claircognizance, 
feel if that person really is wanting to help you if they just want your money. So if you do want to get a psychic reading and it's not with me, make sure that that person is an empath. Usually people who do healings and psychic work are empathic. They actually want to see other people do well and heal and thrive. Also, do not ever, 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 I've done this before, so I'm giving you advice. Do not ever pay like a ridiculous amount of money for a psychic's help. Like, and, and again, psychic sounds like they're this like ethereal being. No, they just have a lot of practice and natural gifts in these sense areas. Yes, some psychics are really great and really wanna help you. And hello, kitty. And some just want your money. So if you are paying more than like $120 an hour, don't. So let's tie it all into the Black Lives Matter movement because there's nothing more important going on in the world right now than like the upheaval of a system that does not serve its people. I'm gonna link down below a quiz, like am I an empath quiz? If you're like, maybe, maybe I kind of really sensitive. I tend to cry when I see someone sad or a sad movie. For my empaths out there and for people developing clairsentience right now, like I said, lots of energetic trash just floating around because people are scared. They're angry, they're anxious they're uncertain there's a lot of just like blech going around you need to be as an empathic person shielding right now okay shielding and grounding like on a daily basis what does that look like there's many ways to ground many ways to shield but here are my favorite and go-to's that i do almost every day go put your feet or your entire body or just your hands on the bare earth and this will neutralize everything in your body because we know in electronics that earth is the ultimate ground it really feels like you're being recharged. If you just go lay in the grass like starfish out, it feels like your whole body is just being recharged. So that's how you can ground. Or take a nice hot bubble bath with essential oils and Epsom salt and how you can shield. And this is why you want to hone your psychic abilities right now. This is more in the side of clairvoyance because we're visualizing here. So if you close your eyes and you, you can just visualize a cloak or sheath of white golden light surrounding your body, and even though it's kind of like, you know, flowy and sheathy, <laughs> it's protective. It's like a protective layer, like kind of like maybe a mosquito net. That will really help you, I promise, if you surround yourself with light every single day. Next week, I'm talking about healing as a concept, individually and collectively, because wow, do we need healing right now? Am I right? That's kind of what I want to roll into after we talk about psychic ability this week because the two go hand in hand. It is very important right now that you stare down the barrel of the gun. What gun? I'm talking about the movement. So that we can see the pain that has been caused and is being caused, recognize it, validate it, and then come together and heal. And it's also important that you find a way to heal yourself, to shield yourself from all the craziness going around so that you can help. So we're gonna talk how to heal yourself because all, heal all healing is self-healing. And by doing so, by healing yourself, you do raise a vibrationally, which automatically helps others. And we'll talk about how that works. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Don't forget to give this video a like. And if you wanna learn more about how to live a more holistically healthy lifestyle, start by watching one of these two videos right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or click the link down below to book with me. I love you guys so much. Have a blissful day.